Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in today to WCTV. I am Nikki McCallum, and I am here with the two co-founders of the Vermont Film Festival, Colin Doyle and Matt Vita. Thank you both so much for coming in today. Thank you for having us, Nikki. You're so welcome. Now, I'm so excited. The town is talking about the Vermont Film Festival and would love to hear from you. What is it? What can people expect? Sure. So the Vermont Film Festival is a four-day event uh, where we're going to be celebrating films from all around the country. Uh, and this year, we're really excited. We're going to be closing down the parking lot behind the town hall where we're going to have food trucks and a beer tent. So really excited about it. Uh, we want everyone to come to the town hall and, um, and uh, enjoy the films and, and, uh, and food. That's so exciting. I, I love a closed down <laughs> parking lot and a food truck. So. Yeah, but we've got, um, just to expand, we've got three days of programming, including 30 films from all over the world, uh, short films, feature films, documentary, narratives, including a good amount of films this year that were actually made in Vermont with a couple of our projects uh, that we're screening, our full cast and crew, based in Vermont, wow. um, and screenings will be taking place at the Town Hall Theater on Friday from 6 p.m. to midnight, Saturday from 6 p.m. to midnight, and on Sunday starting around 11 a.m. going to about 6 or 7 p.m. Great. That sounds awesome. And what I'm so curious, what are some of the goals of the festival? What are you hoping to accomplish with this event? Um, one of our big goals is, is bringing the film community together uh, in Woodstock, which is you know a beautiful place to network. Um, there's plenty of opportunities for people to kind of hang out, um, talk, and and hopefully it inspires people to come back to Vermont and shoot here. So a lot of times when you get a big group of filmmakers to together in a in an area, it really inspires them um, to create films here. So a long-term goal is we're certainly very passionate about more filmmaking in Vermont. Um, especially in the Woodstock area. And, and, and to that point, actually last year, so this we're going into our second year, um, last year some of the filmmakers that were in town for the event, last year actually I helped book someone a job, a DP job, while we were at a networking event for the event. So that was sort of a nice proof of concept uh, over a coffee. So we're hoping that we continue to just make those connections, have like-minded people getting together, and just creating opportunities for people that want to make some awesome films. Super cool. That's awesome. And I love what you said about the Vermont focus. It sounds like such a great event for the community. Would love to hear a little bit more about how the community has been getting involved. Yeah, so we have um, some really great um, long-standing partners that we work with uh, regularly, uh, one of which is 506 on the River Inn. Um, we'll be having some events there in Woodstock, their beautiful luxury hotel um, that we encourage everyone to stay in. Um, and um, so we'll be doing some events there. We also work with various restaurants in town. Um, so uh, you know, I think we're just really lucky in this area that there's so much uh, ongoing support for for the arts. So yeah, and, and obviously th th this event, just like last year, it's in partnership with uh, Pentangle Arts um, at the Woodstock Town Hall. They've been an amazing partner the last couple of years. Uh, we partner on the film festival. We also Colin and I run a comedy festival and they've been long-standing partners in that venture as well. Um, the whole team over there is amazing, great to work with. Um, state of the art projector, the theater is awesome. Um, so it's a really great partner, really great uh, facilities that they have to allow us to show these, these films. That's excellent. And is there anyone from your team who wasn't able to make it in today? Uh, yeah, so we have a, a kind of a board that goes through the, the films and uh, kind of ha acts as a jury process to select the films. Um, Claire Berkman's on that, uh, as well as Mark. Mark um, Dzinski. Mark Dzinski, who we've worked with and Matt works with regularly um, in, uh, with filmmaking. Excellent, excellent. And the million dollar question, when is this event taking place? What are the dates? <laughs> so uh, you can find all the information on vermontfilmfestival.com. Uh, but the festival itself will be taking place July 25th through the 28th. Uh, we kick off in Bridgewater at the Bridgewater Mill, um, home of the Woolen Mill Comedy Club, Romento's Brick and Brew Pizza. So we'd like to get everyone together there opening night for a big uh, kind of celebration um, to kick it off. And then we'll be pretty much in Woodstock the, the, the remaining time. So um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, passes are available right now. It's $45 a day for a day pass or an all-access industry pass for $100, which is good for, for the four days. So 
um, go on to uh, the website. Um, you can purchase those through pentagle.org, uh, pentaglearts.org, and um, and we hope to see you at the festival. Great. And I just want to do. I just want to break down a little bit of math. Like Colin said, tickets are available on Pentangle's website right now or our website. Buy tickets. Forty-five dollars a day, but Colin said for a three-day pass, that's one hundred dollars. Now, if you were to add forty-five to forty-five to forty-five, that's over a hundred and twenty. I don't really add that high. It's at least a hundred and thirty-five dollars. So for a hundred dollars, could even be one eighty. It knows? could. It, it could be three hundred. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a big number. So the fact that you can get a three-day pass for only one hundred dollars. Um, jokes aside, I, I, I film, I'm a filmmaker myself. I've been traveling all over the country to festivals this past year. A lot of amazing festivals. It was a really great deal. We're really proud of the films that we're going to be screening. And it's just an amazing thing for the community to get involved. Like I said, a lot of Vermont films, a lot of films that have really important messages um, and stuff that you're not going to be able to see on Netflix or YouTube or anything like that. It's stuff that you really need to get out and come to events like this. So we really hope that we have the community behind us to come see what we think is some really impactful and amazing films. Yeah, I'd just like to echo that, that you know, uh, for those who haven't been to film festivals before, it's really a unique opportunity to see didactic films and movies that you would never see um, anywhere else and often leads to really interesting conversations afterwards. So we hope that the community really gets involved this year, comes and sees some of these films, and that they spark um, you know, great conversations um, about, about the topics. So like, like Matt said, we have some really uh, interesting and wonderful films. So we're really excited about that and looking forward to the community experiencing these movies. And also one other thing, and to Colin's point about conversation, um, another really unique um, aspect of going to a film festival versus just going to the movie theater is we have Q&As. A lot of the filmmakers come out, so at the end of the screening blocks, a lot of times you actually get to ask questions of the people that made the films, sometimes the stars or the actors that are in the films. So it's something that's super unique that doesn't happen a lot, especially um, up in Woodstock. Oh, wow. So the audience will get to meet some of the filmmakers. Yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, and, and open Q&A. Um, last year's event had a lot of really um, awesome filmmakers that traveled as far as Europe, I think, was our fur furthest traveled wow. last year. Um, we did screen a film from Japan. They didn't make it last year, but, you know, there's still a month to buy your tickets. Once again, <laughs> tickets are available. <laughs> Yeah. This is so exciting. Well, everyone, please check out VermontFilmFestival.com. I think I'm going to go get my tickets right now. Do it. Get out of here. <laughs> go buy a ticket. Three I days. will. <laughs>